today's video I am going to be doing this look for you guys. I was inspired by two makeup artists and I will be linking down their Instagram below so if you guys want to go ahead and check them out. This video is going to be strictly just about my eye. I already went in and did my foundation. I did all my complexion. That way I can go ahead and focus more on my eye look. So if you guys want to see how I treat this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. Alright, so I'm just going in with the P. Louise base. As you guys know, it's my favorite base. And I'm just going to apply it all over my lid. Going in with this really beautiful palette from Lashaholics. I will be taking this green. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it all over my crease. Bringing it out towards the end for a longer cut crease. Switching to the palette Morphe 35B, I will be taking this green and I will be applying it over the other green that we just applied. So I want my green to pop out a little bit more and I kind of want it more like a forest green. So I am applying this black shadow over those two green colors that we just applied. Switching over to a more fluffier brush from Morphe Cosmetics, I'm just blending out any harsh lines just so I can have a smoother transition. So as you guys can see, I do switch brushes. I do go in with a smaller detailed brush and then I'll switch it back up to the fluffier brush. This look is a little bit harder just because I am playing with darker shades and the darker shades are a little bit harder to blend. But that's why you do switch up the brushes and you know just play around with them until you do have everything blended out. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting my crease and what I used to cut my crease is a P. Louise base. So once I have my crease drawn, I do like to take a wider brush and just pat down towards the concealer just to set everything in its place. And then I will take a smaller detailed brush and just blend the eyeshadow from the outer corner into the inner corner with the concealer. I don't apply any more shadow. I think with whatever eyeshadow that you do have from the outer corner will be good enough to blend the concealer and the eyeshadow together. So I am applying a little bit of black shadow towards the end of the wing just so I can get that bolder wing look. And then I will take that same green that we used from the 35B Morphe palette and I will be applying it all over my concealer. And then I will be using this green glitter from the Lashaholics palette and I'll be applying it where we applied that green. And taking my favorite highlight palette, I will be taking this color and I will be applying it all over my brow bone. Taking the LA Colors Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil, I am just applying it on my lower lash line and then at the very top, I like to apply it at the very top just so I can hide the lashes that I will be applying towards the end. So now I'm just applying a little bit of some black eyeshadow and then I will be applying some of that green shadow from the 35B palette. And I will be blending both of those together just to smoke out the bottom lash line. So to highlight my inner corner, I will be taking the same highlight that I used to highlight my brow bone. Last but not least, I will be applying my lashes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I would seriously appreciate it and I hope to see you guys on my next video.